Hey guys, another review. This time is gonna be Head Gravity Tour, unreleased racket. Uh, thank you, Head, for for believing uh, in my in my channel, sending me this. I have a story actually about this gift. So recently, I was reviewing quite a lot. I reviewed Speed MP, Radical Pro, Boom Pro. Some time ago, uh, also Gravity Pro and uh, Speed Pro from 2022 so i gave my feedbacks to head i didn't like the boom pro that much uh something in feel and response i didn't like a radical pro that much i was expecting a bit more pocketing and dwell time a radical pro is maybe for flat heaters that want uh, to hit with more penetration kind of Kind of like a Speed Pro, but uh, a bit more precision. Gravity Pro is in my tournament of rackets and I, I love it. Uh, also, uh, Prestige MP, I love it. So yeah, it seems uh, I am Prestige slash Gravity guy. And maybe Speed Pro is kind of the ending point where I'm on the edge of loving and not loving the racket. So as I explained head what I like and what I don't like in rackets, they decided to send me uh, their racket. But they didn't know uh, at that time what will they send me. Will it be the newest Speed Pro or maybe the Prestige Pro in 1619 string pattern? Uh, all I knew is uh, that uh, they will send me something with uh, better pocketing and dwell time compared to Radical Pro. Higher spin potential and ability to shape the ball a bit easier. So yeah, uh, Gravity Tour, here we are. I think it will be also helpful uh, if I say something about the Gravity Tour line in general, because I did try the previous uh, release I mean, from four years ago. So the Gravity Tour originally had a bigger head size, but 18, 20 string pattern. So Gravity Tour uh, from the past uh, is actually a very control-oriented racket, not a lot of free power, quite demanding, but easy to swing. So it kind of makes sense that it's a easier to swing Gravity Pro, but still the threshold of players that can swing uh, efficiently with the Gravity Tour was set quite high, which also makes sense in, in the Gravity uh, line overall. So yeah, Head decided to do something with it. They made the potential audience actually bigger, mainly because the string pattern is 1619, but also in the power potential. If I would rate the power potential of the previous Gravity Tour at around 4 out of 10, this one is maybe 6, 7. <laughs> so quite a drastic change and uh, from what I've seen most reviewers were a bit surprised with the power potential it offers. I would say the string pattern is quite open, quite similar to frames like Solinko Whiteout, Yonex Vicor and Technifiber Iga Świątek. Basically it means that the launch angle is quite high on this and the first strike showed that uh, yeah it can be a problem for, for some players. <coughs> I would say this racket is very, very similar to Vicor line, but mixed with the E zone. Vicor line has similar um, spin potential, but the feel is maybe a bit muted. Gravity is a bit more focused. So when you hit the ball, you really know uh, where you're striking. So that's actually a great thing. And something that even bothered me with the Gravity Pro uh, with such big head size. I am probably in a smaller group here, but I believe Gravity Pro could potentially play better at stiffer index. Um, just to make the feel more solid. Back to the Gravity Tour, because it's a 98 uh, square inches head size, you obviously have a bit more connection to the ball. And comparing it to the Vicor line, it's actually making a huge difference in the sense of how 
much control you had over the ball. The vicor maybe is launching the ball a bit faster and on top of that it is a bit muted in feel. While the gravity tour uh, keeps the ball a bit longer on the strings and the feel is a bit stiffer which gives me a bit more information of what I am doing with the ball, a bit more feedback. So that's great. So if we go back to my tournament of rackets uh, for a while um, I could say that Gravity Tour 1619 could potentially uh, replace T-Fight. My biggest issue with the T-Fight was a uh, kind of smaller sweet spot and the Gravity Tour is much bigger in sweet spot. But the response is uh, similarly on a hotter side, I would say. Radical Pro could be replaced with the Gravity Tour if you would like to have uh, more spin, uh, maybe even more power. The ratio of power and spin is uh, quite close. I mean, everything is increased. You get more spin and more power at the same time. Radical Pro, more precision, more linear response. Elevate Tour could be replaced by the Gravity Tour. Uh, Elevate Tour and Radical Pro very similar rackets, small differences uh, made uh, the Elevate Tour go uh, further in the tournament. A Vicor 98 Tour, of course, probably biggest competition for the Gravity Tour. Obviously, uh, Vicor 98 Tour is much heavier, much more demanding to swing. With Vicor 98 Tour, you basically only can add mass to the handle. Tried Vicor 98 regular. The review is also on my channel. I didn't like it that much. I like I like it on clay, but didn't like it on the hard court. The stability was not good enough with the regular Vicor 98. Gravity Tour, great stability, no issues there. The only thing I would say, I am used to heavier, more headlight setups or at least heavier setups. So I need to customize uh, Gravity Tour anyway. I decided that I will actually make two videos for, for this frame, one in stock form and one customized with the specs, with the final specs that uh, are to my preference. Gravity Tour 1619 could potentially also attack uh, Solinko Whiteout 1619. Maybe very similar power to control to spin ratio, the balance of those three. Yeah, very, very similar traits, I would say. One thing that maybe is uh, better with the Gravity Tour is the feel. It is a bit softer yet still very connected. Head is the leader when it comes to um, designing feel-oriented rackets. It's their heritage. Solinko team is still, I would say, figuring it out. And also, yeah, you have to position it on the market somehow, right? And if you add feel, sometimes you lose the performance. So that's, that's a tricky part in designing racket. And I would say, uh, Gravity Tour yeah, has both performance and feel, but again, the performance is on the hotter side. Is it hotter than the Whiteout? Mm, maybe, maybe. Hard to say, um, because I strung Gravity Tour with Hawk Touch at 22, 21 kilos, uh, so quite low. In Solinko Whiteout, I am playing with the Turbite 130 gauge, so it's, it's quite a difference. Turbite in general can make every frame feel control-oriented and uh, quite dead. <laughs> so yeah, I might, I might uh, try 130 gauge in the Gravity Tour just to see how it will respond uh, to the thicker strings. One thing that is a problematic with the Vicor 98 Tour is uh, that it can't really take thicker strings. The sweet spot gets really small and something, uh, something feels off. And with 125 it's sometimes too responsive. For, for, for my game, uh, especially under pressure. And uh, lastly, Vicor 95, so much control and spin. The, the launch angle is also quite high on the Vicor 95. That's why I think Gravity Tour uh, 6019 is actually maybe um, 
a great answer to the Vcore 95 and Vcore 98. So I mentioned that uh, it feels a bit like a mix between Vcore and Ezon, mainly taking this power potential and feel from the Ezon. Uh, a bit stiffer feel, but still soft and comfortable enough. Um, from Vcore, they took spin potential. Um, I haven't yet tried the Extreme Pro, but uh, I believe uh, the power potential is quite similar between those two. Maybe the connection should be better with the Gravity Tour. Um, spin potential, I would say quite similar. Uh, I mean, yeah, Gravity Tour can really spin the ball. I'm not sure if it's a racket for round strings or shaped strings. Right now, I'm just thinking that thicker strings could be exciting um, combination for this racket. The highlight of my first hitting with the Gravity Tour was actually backhand side. Uh, great power, great penetration. Yes, yeah, sometimes I was, I was hitting the ball too far on my forehand, and uh, the wave distribution is not really um, to my preference. With heavier specs, it is sometimes easier for me to set up my stroke and then extend through the contact point. I don't have rapid motions, uh, so heavier, more headlight setups are usually benefiting me a bit uh, more. So yeah, that's the plan. I will add leather grip and let's see how the racket will respond to some masks to, uh, in the handle. But first I will also try racket with some mass at the top, no leather, just to see if I prefer it, uh, just, at, just to make it a bit heavier uh, in feel. Then I will also try no mass at the top, just leather grip. And uh, depending on my experience with both setups, uh, I will maybe try a mix of two. Uh, maybe I will also try uh, thicker strings, uh, just to see how the racket will respond to, to those gauges. Uh, Vicor line couldn't take thicker strings, so I think that could be a very good test uh, for the uh, Gravity Tour. So yeah, the, the first the first strike was uh, quite uh, surprising, very high launch, but uh, it also reminded me of my times with Angel TC95-1619. Over there, the launch angle uh, is very high as well. And I was stringing this racket with uh, 130 strings at 24 kilos. So it could make sense. If, if the Gravity Tour can take thicker strings at higher tensions and still feel comfortable wow, 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 wow. that could be something and because the combination of power and spin and control is so excellent i can see many e-zone and v-core uh, users switching over to the gravity tour from head users maybe Radical MP, maybe Radical Pro. Maybe Speed Pro users, if they want a bit more spin. And of course, don't forget about the Extreme Pro. Compared to the Boom Pro, I would say this one feels much more classic in feel. I prefer the feel of the Gravity Tour. The sensation is cleaner when you strike the ball, giving more feedback and sense of control. So yeah, that's it for, for this review. I have some customization to do, so sit tight and uh, wait for another update. Thanks for watching, uh, please subscribe and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.